After the last session with ShareFile, um, we had a lot of questions about downloading the Citrix for ShareFile app. So I'm going to walk through this for you and uh, hopefully that will make things easier for your install if you're going to use this as opposed to the website. If you go to the website, the ocr.sharefile.com, um, you don't need to take, type in authentication slash login. Um, it should take you here. If you have any problems with getting here, then go ahead and type in that extra authentication slash login. Um, you're going to enter your email address that you're registered through ShareFile and your password. When you sign in, it's going to take you to your ShareFile dashboard. Hopefully yours looks like this as well, um, something similar. Um, in the upper right hand corner, there's an apps link and you're going to click on that and see here there is apps for Windows, um, Citrix files for Windows and you're going to download that. Down here at the bottom you can see it says Citrix files for Windows can't be downloaded securely. We're going to go ahead and keep that and you'll see that it finishes a download and then you're going to click on it to start the install process. You'll accept the licensing agreement. Feel free to read through that to see uh, what you're agreeing to first. And then install. It's gonna ask you if you wanna allow the app to make changes to your device and go ahead and say yes. And then the setup will run through. It shouldn't take too long. And then you're going to want to launch it. This time it's going to ask you to sign in and it's going to ask you for your company domain. It's our company domain is OCR, which is the beginning of the website name and then hit continue. This is where you'll enter that same email and your password. Mine saved in my browser, so it popped in there. And then sign in. It's going to ask you for a verification code. Now, if it, I'm assuming it will if you all have entered a um, mobile number but maybe it won't if you haven't entered a mobile number. So I received a verification code on my mobile phone. I'm gonna enter that and verify. So now it's saying welcome and it's kind of showing you what's gonna happen. At this point, you can click dismiss or continue if you wanna see the startup screens. It's then it's going to launch your file browser and as you can see Citrix files is showing up now as an S drive. I could click on my folders here in order to see all my share files. If you have any questions, send me an email. Let me know. Thanks.